Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Mochimba. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I customize my phone or my home screens with the new iOS 14 update. I I just used a few apps to do this. I didn't really do much with it. I just like customized two of my home screens just to make it look, you know, a bit clean and more aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, I'm going to be sh I'm going to show you guys in this video how to do that so that you can get your phone to look like that. I had asked on Instagram if people wanted me to do a video about how I did mine and the majority of people voted yes so yeah i decided to do the video anyway so first of all i'm going to show you guys a, a clip a video clip i think i'm going to insert it somewhere here i'm going to show you guys how my phone looked before i customized it that was when i had just updated the phone i hadn't done anything to it yet then now i'm going to show you guys how it looks so i'm going to start the screen recording now so that we can follow together first thing you have to do is pick out a theme you have to know what you want your phone to look like like do you want it to be black do you want it to be red do you want it to be blue do you want it to be cartoons or whatever you want so that's the first thing you have to do you have to pick out a theme i chose uh, a brown theme light brown that was what i was going for so i went on pinterest and i searched for light brown aesthetic pictures and then i downloaded a number of those pictures so that i can try to fit them into my phone and my home screen here yeah, so that it can at least i was that i can at least come up with exactly what i wanted okay so this is what my lock screen looks like i just got this picture from pinterest like i said you can just search for what you want and you'll find there afterwards when you when you just unlock the phone this is what my home screen is looking like right now i just have um this widget that i put on top which has the date and the time then i just have a picture here to my my left yeah i have a picture that's the same picture that's on my wallpaper then i customized some of the apps i created shortcuts and then i put the apps that i use frequently here and then i just created this other widget with this quote that i like which is the four g's god goes growing and glowing then down here i just customized the other apps that are usually down so yeah and then when you swipe you swipe left or right <laughs> i don't know yeah when you swipe this side i just have three widgets on this page i have a picture that i created i just downloaded the picture from pinterest and then i added the text uh which is this is just one of my favorite verses philippians 4 verse 6 you can check it out and then here i have the battery widget and the weather and then when you scroll this side my other home screen is just the app library so yeah we're going to start now so you're going to need three apps to do or four apps to do exactly what i did but the fourth app is optional the first app that you need is an app called widget smith this app right here I'm going to open it so widget smith allows you to create widgets you can use i mean you can create your own style this is why now you get to put your pictures according to your theme you get to put your calendar you get to do whatever you want so i'm going to demonstrate how to create um, a widget and how to put it on your home screen but first let me tell you all the apps you need so that's the first app the second app you're going to need to download is another app called color widgets so for color widgets i got it because i liked how the time thing was looking better than in widget smith so i decided to get this one so that i can i can customize it the way i wanted it to be then the next app you're going to be using is shortcuts shortcuts comes with the phone but then if it's not there you you can download it from the app store so in shortcuts that's where now you create the apps on your on your 
I mean you create the shortcuts to the apps on your home screen yes then the fourth app you're going to be using is PixArt PixArt is just the one that I used to edit the pictures like to add to, to add texts in there if you want to customize your text you use PixArt so that it's you can put whatever you want there so now let's get started so the first app we're going to to explore is widget smith so you're going to open the the app and this is what it looks like it comes with different sizes there's the small widgets there's the medium ones and then there's the large ones so you choose the ones that you want to put then yeah so i'm going to pick which one am i going to pick um okay we'll just pick a small one so you can press here since i've already added a number of widgets you can just press here on add small widget then it's going to bring something like this then you click on that small widget then it's going to bring the page like this then you click on it so that you can edit as you can see there are a lot of um options for you to do this all these the time the time and location clock the date then you can customize it here you can add photos then you can add the battery icon or what the ones for the weather are locked because you have to pay for those but then these ones which don't have locks on them are free so you can get any of those so i'm just going to click a random one let's click on the photo one so that we we i show you how to add the photo so you click on the photo one and then you click on here down on selected photo and then choose photo so you go in your gallery and then i had created an album for this so you go in your gallery and then you pick any random picture so i'm just going to pick anything i'll pick this one and then after you do that you just go back and you press save on top here then your widget will be saved now how to add it on your home screen you go back to your home screen and then you you long press on the screen then until your app starts shaking then on the top left corner of your phone there's this plus sign you click that and then you search here on top you write widget smith then it's going to bring the app you click on that then it's going to give you options you either add small medium or large so right now we created small then you write add widget so it's going to bring the widget that's number one on the on the list but then if you want to you press done then now if you want to add the widget that you were from creating you click on the widget long press then it's going to bring you sorry yeah you long press then it's going to bring you these options edit widget edit home screen or remove widget so you press on edit widget and then you click here and you click small five and it's going to bring the widget you're from creating and that's how you add the new widget on um your home screen so you can do this you can add as many as you want you can put i don't know how many you can put different pictures if you want so that's how you add and then if you want to delete a widget you just long press it remove widget remove and it will be out so that's how it looks like then you can just maneuver arrange them the way you want them to be yeah just like that so that's it about widget smith so you can create as many as you want then i'm going to move on to show you how to use color widgets so for color widgets you have default widgets that are already there for the dates and the time and everything so you can pick any of these and choose to use them or you can choose to customize one of them and make make it what you want it to be so i'm going to click this one for example then it's going to bring you options just set the widget the way it is or you edit so you click on edit and then you start here you can change the font you can make it you know you can make the background the solid color it can be dark or it can be light come to the, the way you want or you can add a background photo so you you click then you go here or you go to whatever album you create from the pictures you download and then you click any random picture i'll click this and it's going to come on the background of your widget so as you can see there's this large one there's the small one there's this one so this is how it looks then after you're done 
you write set widget so you choose do you want the big one or you want this this medium one or you want the smaller widget so i'm going to try to put um this one the medium one then you press set widget then it's done so now you scroll back on top and you will find it at the top there you have your widget then you come back to your home screen and it's already reset itself oh yeah, so when you press that it's automatically going to come on your home screen like this i think if you don't have one already let me try to delete it and then let's see if it's going to so now i can go back here and then i say set widget okay so when you press set widget if you don't have it already on your screen you long press the way we did it with widget smith you press add you write color widgets then you choose the one that you want add widget and it's going to come on top just like that if you already have it when you do that it's going to change the widget that you already have there like the time one because all of them are about time and the dates and all that so it's going to change the one that you already have yeah so that's it and then um for this one down the 4g's widget i used widget smith also so i'm going to show you how to do that one so you come here you add a small widget again if you want to create a new widget you always add 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 then you have different types of widgets to choose from so you click on this one like i said you click for editing then you come here down where there are these options photo date what what there is down here where it says custom text so you click on that one and then you click on text and then you write what you want to write like you can write whatever you want so i'm going to write uh yeah then you can change the font if you want you can put whatever font you want i'll just click that random one you can choose the color of the letters and then you can choose the background color you can choose this you can choose that you can choose whatever you want according to the theme that's on your phone so i'm going to choose this and then you can put a border around it if you want or you can leave it the way it is so yeah that's what i'm going to do and then you go back and save so there you have it and then to add it same way long press add widget smith small widget add widgets the first one is going to show up then long press it edit widget then small number six and there you have it it's on top now so yeah that's basically what you do with the widget you can play around with it you can just it's actually not so hard the thing is you just have to know the theme that you want for your phone like how you want your phone to look like how you want your your things to be arranged and all that then for me like what i did even for your wallpaper background you can put whatever you want for me i chose just a solid brown color because i wanted my phone to look clean and nice and that's why i decided to do that so next i'm going to show you now how to use shortcuts so for this one if you want you can actually keep the original apps the ones that were on your home screen after you update you can hide your home screens like for me the home screen that i had I just click down here and it's right there as you can see all my apps are still here but then I hit the home screen because I didn't want it to look dirty on my on my on my screen sorry on my phone so like it's still there but then I just don't show it if I click here I'll have it back so these are how my my old apps used to show so if you want you can keep the same apps on your home screen your new customized home screen according to the theme that you want maybe you want red and then you know how the youtube apps are all red and all that so you can get those and add them to your home screen without creating the shortcuts but then if you want to do what i did like create pictures for your apps instead you use the app shortcuts so in shortcuts now what you're going to do is you are going to press here on the top top right corner you will press the plus that's there and it's going to bring you this and then you press add action so when you do that you write open open up 
that's the action that is going to be doing that's the action the shortcut is going to be doing so you press on choose and then you choose whatever app you want it to open so let's say um calculator yeah so i'm going to choose calculator then what you do you press on these three dots here the ones that are right below next you press on that and then you write the shortcut name whatever you want it to be called so we'll just call it calculator so that we shouldn't be this we shouldn't be confused so calculator then you click down here where it says add to home screen then you write the shortcut name again calculator Uh, did I not know how to spell this or what? Oh Yeah, calculator and then You click on this square here. That's right next to the word calculator. You click on it Then that's where you're going to now add your photo to customize your shortcut. So you press choose photo then you go and you choose whatever picture that you want to put there so i'm just going to put whatever i'll click this picture and then you fit it and you choose then press add and done and done again so the shortcut has been created then you go back to your home screen and as you can see calculator has been added here down so you can you can um move it the way you want you can put it here you can put it wherever you can just play around with it and that's basically it so i'm going to now show you the last app to use which is pixart so in pixart what you what you can just do this is just for adding text so that you can personalize whatever you want to put on your home screen so you just go to all photos and um yeah so you do that and then i'll just click this solid color yes and then you press text here then you add whatever text you want to to write so you so you can do that then there are different types of fonts you can choose whatever font you want then you can just work around with it you write some chimaniko or whatever you want to write <laughs> yeah so you can do that and then afterwards you press apply next then save then the photo is going to be saved in your photos and then now you can add it as a widget on your on your phone so like for me i created this other side i added this um this this widget which has the philippians 4 verse 6 i created it with pixart so you can just play around with it honestly like just do whatever you want and like if you still have the other apps on your on your home screen and you don't want them to be there like the ones that are down here for me i know this because these are the apps that were always there like this is phone this is safari down here this is um messages and this is music so you can get like you just long press on the actual app then you press remove from home screen it's going to take it to the app library which is this side and you can find it whenever you want you can just search music it's going to come you can search safari whatever but then you can still click these shortcuts to go to where you want to go like for example you know you go to phone it goes this side and like you just you can just play around with it and decorate it the way you want it to be customize it to the way you want it to be and yeah i guess that's basically it for everything so yeah i hope this video helped somebody learn how to you know work with this thing and you guys can make your home screens create your home screens and you can tag me on instagram so that i see what you did if you followed tuto this tutorial to do it you can tag me so that i can share and yeah that's it that's basically it have fun with it just make it whatever you want and make it look nice so yeah that's it for the video i hope you guys liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel until next time bye